What's going on you guys? I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care located here in Colfax, North Carolina. If you're new to the channel, uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. So uh, it's, it's a pleasure being able to bring these videos to you and you know some how-to tutorial videos, product reviews, um, you know, and, and things that I'm doing uh, day to day. So uh, it's been a little while since I updated a video or uploaded a video, but I wanted to bring uh, a topic to you guys um, that uh, I've been asked to do for quite some time and that is all about your curved mulching blades okay so I know the camera's probably focusing on me but anyways your curved mulching blades is the cutting edge that's curved so today I'm hopefully gonna uh, do this uh, pretty quickly so I don't bore you um, but anyways let's dive into this video on how to service these blades <music> All right, you guys, so before we get into today's video, uh, I wanna tell you two reasons among the many that I love Jobber. So uh, those that have been following me along and have known me for a while know I'm a big uh, advocate and supporter and user of Jobber. Uh, I'm one of their ambassadors, but even if I wasn't, uh, I would still promote this software because uh, I love it and I trust it. Uh, but with their software, one of the main things I love is the fact that it's mobile so as you can see here you can use it on your uh, your mobile device okay and uh, hopefully that's coming up okay for you but uh, on this main screen right here this is the home page it, it tells you you know if there's any requests coming in from your clients uh, if you've got any uh, quotes going on or anything that's approved because I've got one approved here for four hundred ninety dollars it's a little small mulch job um, and uh, right here, there's a jobs tab. It says completed jobs that are ready to be closed or invoiced will show up here. And then invoices that you're awaiting payment on, okay? Um, being able to have all of this stuff in one location uh, is gonna help you stay organized, you know, so you're not missing things from your clients, okay? Uh, and then the second thing is down here at the bottom, there's a little, uh, there's little tabs down here, okay? But the schedule, so uh, there's no secret that I'm only part-time. Uh, with lawn care so this is tuesday i don't have anything uh planned on tuesday because my lawn care day is thursday this week but you can see right there there's a little red line hopefully you can make that out um, but there's a little red line right there um that tells you like where you're going through the day as far as the actual time and you know to to see if you're staying on track but uh, if there were jobs here you would see them come up you can click on them um, and you can complete them. Now, depending on how you set up your jobs, you know, you can invoice after every single one or at the end of the month, you know, doing batch invoicing. So uh, that's all determined on how you set it up, okay? But it can all be done from your mobile device. You don't have to like be at your office or be at home on a desktop to quote and invoice your client. So just, just two, uh, those are just two uh, of the reasons why I love Jobber, the mobile aspect of it, and then staying organized with the homepage and the schedule. So always, there's a link for Jobber down uh, below. Uh, you can save 20% on your first six months by signing up or use getjobber.com forward slash Mitchell. All right, now on to the video. All right, so again, curved mulching blades, okay? Uh, I would just call them mulching blades, but some people may ask if it's the curved cutting edge or like a, a gator style mulching blade um, this is one from oregon and as you can see it's got the 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 teeth on the back side of the lift portion on the mower blade okay so this too is a mulching blade but as far as servicing is concerned uh, this is just a straight cutting edge for me, okay? And it's serviced completely different on the Magnumatic Mag 8000 here behind me um, compared to this curved setup, okay? So as you can see, curved blade, straight. So hopefully you can make that out and see the difference, okay? Now, some guys have asked me, you know, how, how do I do them on the Mag 8000, okay? But... I want to start first with the flat or conventional cutting edge blades, okay? So, on the MAG-8000 here behind me, there is a um, 
sharpening stone, a grinding wheel, whatever. Uh, those that have the mag um, 8000 set up, you'll need the one inch um, wheel, okay, one inch wide, okay, and the, the table to do the flat blades, okay. So in essence, this is the table that the blade runs on, the stone is pretty much right here, and then you run your blade through that, what I would call just that pinch point, okay. Of course the wheel is not touching the table, but that is what creates the, the sharp cutting edge, okay. And depending on where you have this table on the stone will give you the angle of the cutting edge. I try to stay between 30 to 35 degrees, okay. Now, the reason you use the table is the flat cutting edge lays right on top of it and then you just run the blade back and forth okay hence why you have the table alrighty so that's the flat blades but that's not why you're here you're here for the mulching blades okay so I'm gonna zoom the camera in on I've already got the mag 8000 set up for the curved mulching blades so let me show you how it's done and then I'll demonstrate on a blade before the video is over with okay I've got this zoomed in on the mag 8000 and just like with the uh, conventional flat setup this in essence is the work table even though it's not a flat um, flat table okay and the grinding wheel grinding stone uh, whatever you want to call it okay now for the purpose of doing the mulching blades you've got to use a half inch wheel okay as opposed to let me make sure that's zoomed in okay the half inch wheel as opposed to the one inch wheel okay now this table has to be installed for the simple fact that the the curved blade has got to ride over that what I call the little pedestal. It's more of a pedestal than it is a table, okay? But you can see right there, that curved part of the mulching blade, okay, needs to be able to move in order for that wheel to sharpen it, okay? So, you've got a little flat surface right there, but if you didn't have this pedestal on here on the work table, it would be nearly impossible to get what I would call this ridge or this hump right here sharpened, okay? And when you're doing these, you, you don't force anything. You don't try to turn the blade or nothing. All you do is apply some slight pressure down, okay? I do it with my left hand, so I apply pressure down on the blade, okay? And not doesn't have to be a lot of pressure, pretty much just to keep the blade, you know, seated on the pedestal. And then you just push, okay? And you let the blade do what the blade's going to do. So when it gets here, it's going to drop, all right? And then it's going to come back up on that back ridge and you do just a little bit right there before you come back across the, the hump or the ridge let the blade do its thing and then pull it through okay now some guys sharpen in one direction um, some guys sharpen in both directions meaning you know you're in the wheel and you, you push it's tough when it's not on it it grabs you sharpen by pushing the blade through and then they pull it out and then they reset and they push the blade through and then they reset. I've done hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of blades and I, I use both methods, okay? So um, just depending on you know what the blade calls for. So sometimes I will go through and then I'll pull it right back through the wheel on the back side. So I'll push and pull, okay? Now that will generate a little bit more heat in the blade so you have to be careful that you don't burn the cutting edge, alrighty? Now, you may notice that on this blade right here, uh, the, the cutting edge on it is flat. This was a blade that I'm uh, repairing and uh, it, it suffered some damage from rocks or whatever sticks. So I have filed down the cutting edge and now going to put a new cutting edge on it, all right? I have mine set at 30 degrees, so as long as this pedestal or this table is flush with the front of this little bracket right here, um, bringing the wheel down to where you can barely see any daylight through, almost like the, you know the hair on your head, that will create a 30 degree cutting edge. All right, now I'm gonna get all my uh, PPE on, uh, gloves, eye protection, and mask, 
and I'm going to show you how to do the curved mulching blade. All right, you guys, so that's the curved mulching blade on the MAG 8000. Um, as you can see right here, that cutting edge is complete and it's a 30 degree edge and it's nice and sharp. So not serviced, serviced. So as you can see here, this has still got the, oops, as you can see, it's got the, the blunt edge from where I'm making the repair, all righty. But I just wanted to show you that um, and some of it was real time. I wanted to speed it up. That way you can at least see the whole uh, thing being done. Okay. Um, it does take a little bit of time to get used to. When I first started using the MAG 8000, um, I had some, some older blades laying around. This is an actual customer blade. But I had some blades uh, laying around. And I practiced everything before servicing customer blades. Why would I do that? Well, I would rather mess up my own stuff. Than a customer okay so i got uh what i felt comfortable uh with servicing these blades and until i got to the point where this is another customer blade right here but you can see um that that both of this one both of these have been have been done so these blades are done and balanced but when i felt comfortable that i had uh, I don't even want to say mastered this skill, but when I felt comfortable that I could do these without making any errors, mistakes, burning the blades, whatever, um, then I began to offer the service uh, to my customers. Um, but up until that point, I was doing them on the uh, bench vise with a hand grinder, okay, um, which is, is okay, but it's not as accurate and exact as the MAG 8000, okay? If you've got any questions, comments about anything you saw today, let me know in the uh, comment section down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. I greatly appreciate your support here on the channel. Uh, if you've got any questions uh, about my setup behind me, there's already videos here on the channel and just look under MLC Blade Sharpening Playlist, okay? So uh, that's it, guys. Just wanted to show you the curved mulching blade. Uh, make sure you browse the channel. There's 150 plus videos here on the channel. And uh, Hannah and I are very excited about our new video series, uh, the Green Industry Health and Wellness series. So we've already got one video out on that, dealing with uh, foot pain, feet pain. And our next one uh, will be coming soon, hopefully in the next week or two. But anyways, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll see you next video.